Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I kind of look like I'm scrunched down in this video because I kind of am. Um, I don't really have anywhere to record videos. That's one of the main reasons why I haven't been making them. Um, I just kind of throw a blanket over a couch and sit behind it. Um, so that's what I'm doing and if I raise my camera up anymore, uh, you guys can see like the other parts beyond the couch so yeah anyways um i'm going to be doing my may favorites i haven't done the favorites video in forever what it it's what it seems like so i have quite a bit of things so i'm just gonna get started and hopefully this won't be too long um so i'm just gonna get started off with makeup um the first thing which i weirdly do not have on today is the Lorac unzipped palette but I got this around Christmas time and um, another thing is I'm using natural lighting so and I'm like right in front of the window so I probably look really pale so excuse that but um, the palette inside looks like this it's really really pretty like rosy tone colors I originally bought this because I wanted to wear it for my wedding but then like I don't know we were in a hurry so I didn't do the look I wanted and I did um, the naked basics look that I've done on this channel before um, I don't know so and I kind of regret regret that I should have done my makeup in the morning I feel like but whatever but it's really pretty like romantic colors and I really love this palette um, I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing this um, that's just what I've heard on a blog or two so yeah um, if you can find this I would definitely pick it up it's kind of like the Naked 3 palette um, I didn't purchase the Naked 3 palette because I think this one's better I've swatched them side by side at Ulta and I think this one's better okay um, I have two concealers here um, one is the CoverGirl Plus Away I bought three or four of these this one's kind of dirty because I brought it with me to my honeymoon um, I use the shade Fair Light, and um, I've talked about this before, I believe, on this channel, but it's just like a stick concealer, but it's really moisturizing, and I have really dry skin. Um, I only use this on my lazy days if I don't feel like wearing foundation or BB cream. I'll just put it underneath my eyes, on my cheeks, and then whatever I feel like needs covered up, and then I'll blend it in with the Real Techniques um, expert face brush and then I'll just put powder on top do bronzer and then do my eye makeup and call it a day um, so yeah I really like that and I went through like three or four of those already because I love them so much the other concealer that I've recently just got that I got for the wedding um, that the guy at Ulta recommended to me is the benefit fake up concealer it has really really pretty packaging I don't know if you guys will be able to really tell, but it's like a shiny silver, um, sorry my air conditioner just shut off, a really shiny silver uh, packaging with pink details, and then um, you kind of open it like a lipstick. I'm in the color light, but I recently just got some sun because it just started being summer, um, so I don't know how much longer this will last, but basically what it is, is there is a like clear part and that's like the moisturizing part and then the inside is the concealer and it is super um moisturizing for the under eyes and that's the only place i've ever tried this on but i've really been liking it for like days that i feel like putting a little bit more makeup on when i do like a full face um, i use this and i just blend it out with a brush and yeah um, I have tons of like eyeliners that I've been obsessed with. Um, the one that I'm wearing today, actually I'm wearing both of them, is the Scandal Eyes um, by Rimmel London and this is in nude. Um, it's just like a pencil and it's just a nude color. You can use this as an inner rim, you can use this as an inner corner, you can use it um, to like nude out your lips, to cover any like conceal um, place that you want to conceal. Um, I personally love it for the inner corner. I feel like it brightens up the inner corner um, before I put on my shadow and I really really love this. Um, I've been using it a lot and yeah I really like it. <laughs> um, 
my all time i just recently found this favorite liquid eyeliner ever like it's a felt tip pen um i'm using it today for my cat eye because i've been kind of obsessed with cat eyes lately um but i've tried the jordana fabuliner and that just does not stay and it's not really that black um i like the price of it but it sucks but um i went to ulta right before the wedding and i bought the stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner um and it's an intense black I don't care how much this is. It's $24. I will continue to purchase it for the rest of my life. Um, it's amazing. It stays all day and it doesn't like move up to my lids. It It's just amazing. I absolutely love it, but it's just a felt tip pen and it's really easy to use um, and it doesn't drag or anything like that. I absolutely love this and if you do like winged eyeliner and you want to use a pen, I know the price is a little bit expensive, but give it a try. It's amazing. Um, something else that I've been kind of loving for my lazy days is the Jordana Fabu Brow eyebrow pencil, and I use the color Taupe. I don't really use this part right here, but I just use the pencil and then I blend it out with my Anastasia um, brush. But yeah, I've used this quite a bit. Um, it's pretty cheap, and it matches my brows pretty much perfectly. I have dark brown hair but I get uh, blonde highlights so it works well and I don't have it on today but um, I'll do like a quick tutorial one of these days of like my quick makeup look um, but yeah I've been loving that for these days um, for like lazy days it's been really nice. Um, two things that I recently seen Charisma Star um, or Charisma TV um, do on her channel is she used the Milani Shadow Eyes um, pens and she used them like as shadows which I've done before but I'm just not much of a color person. I wear mainly nude colored natural eyed uh, eyeshadows and then if I want color I'll use purple but um, I absolutely love this combo. Um, you do like the green in the inner corner and then the blue on the other half of your lid. Um, I'll link the tutorial down below. I absolutely love it and they're just so nice and so pigmented and I actually got them 50% off um, at CVS but they're really nice and it's just like really summery. They're really really pretty when you put it on especially like my hazel green eyes. They, it pops really good. Um, Last makeup product is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Coffee Cake. I've been wanting to try this for probably, I'd say, about two years. But for some reason, every time I picked it up, I would just put it back down. I have it on today. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell. But it's just a really cute um, peachy natural color. Uh, it's a cream blush, and it's those bouncy textures. And my phone's ringing. Sorry about that. That was my mother-in-law. Um, so anyways, the swatch of the blush is right there. But like I said, I'm wearing it today. Maybe you can see it better. But I absolutely love it. And I love cream blushes for the spring and the summer. And um, they're just really nice to put on. And they're easy. <laughs> that was my phone again. Um, my favorite nail polish right now is the Essie I'm Addicted. It's their new collection. I have that on right now. Um, it's super pretty and bright for summer. It does dry matte. Sorry about this. Um, it does dry matte, but um, I usually put a top coat on it so it gets shiny. So yeah, and I love my Essie polishes. I have like basically a whole row of Essie nail polishes. Okay, um, I'm going to move on to perfume. I've been obsessed with buying perfume. Like I don't buy like luxury perfumes really. I have like maybe two but um, I've been buying like cheaper perfumes and I really have been liking these ones. Um, I want to try the Katy Perry Meow because I heard it smells like cotton candy but I haven't been able to find it in stores. Um, so yeah. Um, the first one is I bought it at Walgreens and it's B-O-U-M, and it's the vanilla one. Um, this smells so good. It was only like $9, and they have like some floral ones and everything like that too, 
but this one is just amazing and this is exactly what it looks like um they have testers and everything but oh it just smells so good and i bought it actually the day i got married on may 1st and i've used quite a bit of it i absolutely love this perfume and I'm probably going to pick up like a backup or two because I love it that much. Um, another perfume, um, actually I'll just include the lotion with it too. Um, a while back in an Ipsy bag, um, I got the Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. Um, it was the same size as this one. I used it all up. And then when I went to Ulta recently, I smelled the actual perfume. And they have it in my Target too. Um, but I didn't want to spend that much money, so I went to Marshalls, which has been like my all-time favorite thing lately because they you, they sell discounted products that weren't able to sell. Um, like my niece got the Nicki Minaj perfume for really, really cheap, and I went there looking for the Meow perfume. But anyways, I found this, and it came with like a chapstick, like colored bomb, um, and I've been loving both of these. It's the perfume, and it's the body butter and they're just amazing and they smell so good and it's great for summer um just some random shower products um not necessarily the scent but i love this scent too um it's the pink chiffon um creamy body wash by bath and body works i love um their creamy body wash i have really dry skin and yeah i absolutely love this and my camera's gonna die and my air conditioner just turned back on so let's hurry um the dove sensitive skin body bar i use this to clean my brushes and it's just so easy this is all i use um the real real technique sponge it's awesome I got it at Ulta and I have like three or four backups. I'm so sorry. I'm rushing. Um, the Betsy Johnson makeup bag. I got this at Marshall's and it was really cheap. It was only like $5 and it's really huge and it's really, really cute. And I use this all the time now. Um, two hair products really quickly. Um, it's a 10 sample product. Um, my sister gave this to me. She's a hair specialist or cosmetologist and I absolutely love this and I've used a lot of it and I'm definitely going to repurchase it. I've been wanting to try it for years but at the price point I was kind of scared. And the Batiste um, dark brown dry shampoo. I absolutely love it and um, we went through like probably 10 of these between me and my husband. So anyways, I'm sorry I had to rush the last bit. My camera died and I, is dying and I don't know why because I charged it. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry this video is super long but I haven't done one of these in a long time. I love you guys and take care. Bye!